So everything is looking up. That's great. I'll see you later. And thank you again. Okay, so long, Dr. Woodman. <clears throat>
Well, I'm not sure how much time it takes to cope with the implications of being married to a man who tells you that he loves you at the same time he tells you how very much he desires another woman, but I've done my best. I, I don't have it even halfway sorted out yet, but I realize that there are some important questions to ask. And among them is, what exactly is our definition of love, as I mentioned earlier? Well, if you have any questions, I think you better get them out in the open. Please. and as unemotionally as I possibly could. But it's very difficult for a woman to... Well, I expect for anyone to face things like that. I know. It's very hard for me to admit this. But, um... After my last therapy session, I walked out of there so full of confidence and hope that I, I couldn't wait to get home, to call you at the hospital, to tell you how I just knew that things were going to work out for us. I didn't know that. Well, because as it happened, I got Monica on the phone, so I didn't leave a message. But I sat up all night waiting to be able to tell you in person how much faith I had in our future. And then the next morning, I learned that you had spent that night with her. Leslie, that's true. But absolutely nothing happened because of my love for you. But love, you see, you use that word so easily, even now. I'm not even sure that I understand what you mean when you say love. How exactly do you love me, Rick? The way I've always loved you. You love me. And yet you found yourself so strongly attracted to another woman, to Monica, that it took a whole night of fighting to control it. I, I don't understand that kind of love. I may never understand it. Leslie, I was honest with you. I think there are very few men alive, no matter how happily married they are or, or how much in love they are with their wives, that they're not at one time or another at least attracted to some other woman. We're not talking about that now. This is not someone who caught your eye on the street or a girl who smiled at you from across a crowded room. This is an attraction that has been going on for years. You told me yourself it was the very core of your whole relationship with Well, me. I cannot change the past. It's not the past, Rick. It's now. It's our present right now. I asked you once if you found me as sexually stimulating as you do, Monica. You will never know what it cost me to ask that. What I realized now was you cheated me with your answer. I told you I couldn't make a comparison of that kind. That was an evasion. I think you finally answered that question the other morning. Leslie, listen to me. Don't answer that. We have to answer it. It could be the hospital. Rick, it's Steve. I'm sorry to bother you at home, but I was just wondering if you talked to Jeff recently. No, I haven't, Steve. Well, anyway, they told me downstairs that he'll be on call tonight, and I want to talk to him as soon as possible. Thanks, Rick. And again, I'm sorry if I've disturbed you. Well, that's all right. I hope you can reach him. Now, where were we? Um, but I'll tell you where we are right now at a point in our marriage where I will not be a substitute for Monica you have never been and I would never allow that to ever happen I know you mean that but I think it's going to depend on me to make sure it doesn't happen Leslie I have told you a hundred times that I broke off my relationship with Monica because there was nothing in the future for us I married you because, because of the I fit your image of what your wife should be. Monica didn't. Monica didn't have the qualities that would allow her to fit that image. But but Monica has changed. I, I can't count the number of times you've told me that yourself lately. Would she now? Whether she would or wouldn't isn't important. I am married to you now. I love you. I have never stopped Please loving. Please don't 
don't let's use that word until we've decided what it is we each mean by it. What do you want? You want to punish me? No. No, never. All I want is a simple answer to a simple question. Do you still want Monica as much as you did that night? How can I answer that? Honestly. Leslie, the, the circumstances that led up to that other night were very unique, almost unreal. I mean, we were locked up in isolation for three, how many weeks together? I mean, I, I don't think those circumstances would ever come together again. We, we found certain feelings that, well, it's not important, that, that couldn't occur again. Look, nothing happened. I didn't allow anything to happen. Neither one of us did anything. Something did happen, Rick. You discovered that your attraction for Monica was as strong as it had ever been, that it had not diminished one little bit in all the time you've been married to me. Well, if you think about it in those terms, yes, maybe something did happen. Some feelings came to the surface. I acknowledge that. I admit that. But it didn't go beyond that point. Nothing happened. There was no action. That's qualifying. That is. Qualifying will not do here. You have got to answer that question. Do you still want Monica? better get that. But afterward, Rick, you are going to have to answer that question. Because our future really does depend on it.